This week on GC Unboxing, we have the best upgrade you can make to your bike, wheels. And not just any old wheels, oh no, these are Reynolds 46 Aeros. Now admittedly, we have a slight technical problem when it comes to unboxing wheels, but you don't have to worry about that. We'll work around it. I don't know whether you can believe it or not yet, but you can win this very set of wheels. I know, and I'll tell you how to enter that competition later on. But for now, I'm sure you already know what 46 arrows look like, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna hurry up and unbox. I'm gonna put this out of our misery. Oh. Now, as well as being the best upgrade you can make to your bike, deep section wheels, uh, Reynolds Quality Assurance Program, deep section wheels are also undeniably the coolest thing you can do to your bike. And these, these look super cool. Now, what are we actually looking at here? Well, as the name suggests, the rim on these wheels is 46 millimeters deep. So that puts the wheel squarely in the category of perfect all-rounder. It's not so deep and aerodynamic that you've got to put them back in the garage on windy days for fear of getting blown off the road. And it's also plenty light enough for even the most epic of climbs. All right, since you ask, I will wear the wheel for you. Now these are the clincher versions of the wheel. The tubular ones are actually slightly lighter. Let's see if I can balance it. 696 grams. That's pretty light. Now part of the stability in crosswinds does come from the relatively shallow depth, but Reynolds also attempted something very clever with these wheels. So using advanced CFD or computational fluid dynamics, they've actually changed the shape of the rim to make it into an aerofoil, which is characterized by that sharp edge there. And they've called it dispersive effect termination, which what you and I need to know really is that when they took it into the wind tunnel to test it, they found that there is a really low drag in a straight line, but then when you turn it into a crosswind, the drag actually reduces even more. And it differs from other wheel designs because it is low drag, low lift. And so Reynolds say that that actually improves the aerodynamics at slower speeds as well. Another aspect of this Reynolds Aero design is the wide rim. As you see, 26.2 millimeters makes it pretty big. But interestingly, the internal rim width is just 16 millimeters. So wide enough to fully support the tire, but a full 10 mil narrower than the outside. But it's that that's actually the important bit. So Reynolds have called it the integrated step hook. And what it does is it makes the airflow over the rim much more predictable and also as a side benefit, it apparently makes the wheel stiffer as well. Oh, and uh, it's got 16 spokes. Let's move on to the back wheel, shall we? Oh, look at that. Blue anodized free hub body. Not enough anodizing goes on in this day and age, in my opinion. The straight pull hub is Reynolds' own design, but the internals are all DT Swiss 240s, which is a very good thing because DT Swiss is basically a byword for quality. And the 240s are very, very light. How light? Right. 820 grams. So added in to the 690, what's that? 1510 grams. There are 20 spokes, by the way, in that back wheel to handle all your power. Now, one last thing we should talk about on the rim is the braking surface. Now, I know it doesn't sound sexy, and it's not, but it is super important because when you brake, you get heat buildup, and carbon is naturally not a very good conductor. So, in order to be able to ride down alpine descents and crucially stop at the bottom, you need to do some very clever things to carbon rims. So Reynolds have developed what they've called a cryogenic glass transition, which is basically where they've got their own proprietary laminates in the rim that draw heat away from the surface to be dissipated, just like you'd see on a metal rim. And then they've also used a super high grade of resin, basically for heat resistance. Lower grade ones would actually melt. Now, they're also, if I just have a rummage around in the box, their own proprietary brake pads as well. Can you see that? Now these are Cryo Blue Power brake pads, which sounds particularly exciting. They're Reynolds' own compound, and they're designed to work perfectly with that braking surface. Now there is even more stuff in here. Oh, look at that, quick release. That's beautiful, isn't it? There's nothing to it. Just a really nice, simple cam design. Perfect. Check it out. Wheel bags. 
you know you've got a banging new set of wheels when you get free wheel bags. It's not an exact science. Now, before I set about reassembling your box containing your amazing new set of wheels, you are going to need to know how to enter the competition so that they do actually become yours. So if you click just up there, then you get through to our competition. Or failing that, if you click into the description, we'll stick a link there too. Now, if you want to know why we think that wheels do make the best upgrade to your bike, then we've got a video about that just down there. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN because you really don't want to miss any more unboxing videos, do you?